My passion in entering this academic arena was, one, to increase the visibility of the invisibles. And for me, the invisibles were families raising children in rural communities. And more importantly, to begin to facilitate positive framing of the way that we think about what's happening inside our minoritized families. We launched a longitudinal study in 1995, and interestingly, we're still following these families today. Uh, and we focused specifically on a target, the target child, who at the time was age 10. We asked questions about the role of community and school and family in the facilitation of positive developmental outcomes for these children. How can a program that's offered to children and middle childhood have sustaining effects on through young adulthood. And I say it's because we got the data from the parents and the families that, that really helped us understand what works and how it works. And then we turn that information from these empirical research into preventive intervention trials. So it should work. It is the pinnacle of my career. Just overwhelmed by, by this experience and that we do the work because it's a passion of wanting to facilitate change. But when other people see that the work is worthy to be elected to this esteemed group, it was just overwhelming.